Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Goblets and Gays. This is season four, episode 37. Uh, I'm Aubrey, your GM. Toss it for my players to introduce themselves, who they are, who they're playing, and then we'll get into things. Hello, I'm Aki. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Astrea Bashar Chloris, your quadruple princess bard dragon summoner child of the night queen grandchild of the mad king and all round magical baddie who also uses she her pronouns hello i am dusty i use they he pronouns and i am playing joanna of mexico bringer of justice maker of soups and they use she her pronouns Hello, my name is Ferris. I use she, her pronouns, and I play Dumisa Solfig, a seven-foot semi-possessed barbarian and champion of the night who is very much in love and also uses she, her pronouns. Hello, I'm Sparlock. I use he, him pronouns. Today I am playing Groon, the walking goblin catastrophe, oracle of flames, healer of wounds, and burning burner of buildings though she swears it wasn't her um and Grun uses she her pronouns hello hello my name is Alyssa, and my pronouns are they them i am playing Thames and trevino the god devouring changeling wizard who is focused on rescuing their late fiance from purgatory but also growingly concerned with her influence on this group of younger adventurers timson uses she they pronouns Hello, I'm Tick. I use she, she, they pronouns, and today I'm playing Mero, a monk maiden raised in the underworld, now overcoming parental issues, meeting the Fae, and learning about nature, and being a thought. So, Tick, how is this combat going? So, as the scene unfolds of a dramatic battle between a god, beasts, and mortal men, and a bunch of other gods, because a lot of us are gods now, the camera pans in on one specific monk that is grabbed by a giant otter, and they're going to look over at the king and be like, oh, oh, can I do it this time? It's kind of fun. Aubrey, can I do the recap? <laughs> Thank you. So, last time on Goblets and Gaze, uh, we all gathered ourselves, did some preparations, and we headed out to talk with or fight Dimple, probably fight is the assumption. Uh, we all came in and, ow, ow, kind of hurts. Sorry, Otter's trying to kill me right now. Just, it's fine. So, <laughs> yeah, you're probably wondering how I got here. We all charged into fight. Astrea tried to talk her down first, but Dimple was very adamant that she was a cornered beast. And well, at this point she attacked us. So we've got a, we got a fighter. We all charged into combat. Astrea set up her magic. Dumisa has been doing... We've all been fighting very, very well. And yeah, let's just tune back into all of this combat and see if I get thrown directly across the map or not. And now we'll go to the top of the order with... Dimple. Yeah, uh, it oh. is her turn. Uh-oh. Uh, and she is going to start off with a tumble through on you, Dumisa. Uh-huh. Tumble? Please. Leave me. Like an opportunity. Uh, I, I think assume if she tumble fails. is against that. Mm. I think if but she... don't worry. Mm. I have something else if she really tries to leave. No, she was just more of repositioning herself. Uh, does a 58 pass your, uh, um, I think reflex CC? Yeah. Jeez. Cool. So yeah, you watch as this sort of very large werewolf like kind of faints to one side and then quickly slips around and finds herself behind you. Now, is she actually large? Uh, no, she's still like for a medium creature. She's about the size of Dumisa. Okay, like seven just, feet tall. Just large for a dog. Yes. Oh, did he, you know, look kind of like a werewolf that you would see in a movie. That's like a werewolf is... in a movie with like a guy named mm. Hugh. Possibly, yes. <laughs> I need you to know that right now jet. that <clears throat> I need you to know right now that that fucking werewolf changed my entire fucking life. I changed a lot of people's I lives. Really, it's a great werewolf <laughs> design. I was mm. too young for that, though. <laughs> you were too young and innocent. It literally attacked an immigrant child directly. 
We don't know how to stop that. <laughs> that I mean, entire movie, actually. It, but like, I thought know. it was just scary, but you know what? I'm... <laughs> nah, I, that, not only was that movie magic for me, but it did gay things, too. <laughs> Listen. That, uh, that whole movie. Listen. <laughs> the, uh... Dimple is going to spend her second action to do a twin takedown. Uh, and is going to attack twice. Just me, she huh? Woke. With I her... haven't actually damaged her. <laughs> Go attack Joanna. <laughs> I always say that because I can be more helpful that way. So the first attack is a 51. Yeah? Uh, is it a crit? No, magically. Okay. Uh, and then the second one is a 47. It's still hitting. Uh, and this uh, puts the damage together for one. Um, so both attacks combined are going to be 84 piercing damage. One moment. Ooh, 69. Nice. Nice. Okay, and then? Uh, or was that and it? Nope, she's still got one okay. more action left. I, I thought so. Mm -hmm. I just... Uh -uh. Uh, I have so many reactions, mm -hmm. and they're all about other people. <laughs> There's Same. like three of them that actually apply to me, and most of them are you have to die first. Yeah. Service top <laughs> energy. <laughs> so you watch as Dimple sort of falls back into this stance uh, and takes a def takes a defensive stance and increases her AC until the start of her next turn. Hey. That's just Fine. fucking rude. That's just fucking mm -hmm. rude. Right? Demisa. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> you keep saying it in a tone like something bad no, is about to happen you're, to you. You're right. I was also ready for like Thank you. Make a make a will save. Like I was ready I for something like that. I'm like, what? Does she have a layer action too? Okay. Um. Okay. I just remembered she can't be scared. Mm. So. So never mind. <laughs> so that really limits my options here. Because that's about all I can do is scare people and 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 that's a, and stop them from hitting other people. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work really well when she can't be scared and she's only hitting me. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna waste some time here, because this isn't gonna work, but I literally have nothing else to do. Um, and we're gonna litany against Wrath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's not a particularly wrathful creature, is she? I don't know. What would you consider a particularly wrathful creature? I mean, my mother counted. You said yes to my mother. And mm -hmm. she did attack us first, but also she, we have not seen her at all, so I don't know, man. She also called herself a wild animal. That's true. She is a wild mm -hmm. animal by her own her own definition. You're the DM. <laughs> yeah, I'll allow it. Woo, okay. I That's just great. wanted you to make the case for it. Oh, okay. No, I... Thank you, Aki, for the backups. Um, oh, so... You have to make a will save, which you're gonna pass, but you have to take one less because you're particularly wrathful. So, um, the will save, I assume, is against my spell DC, which is wild, I have one. Um, which is 34, because I have, uh, like, no charisma. <laughs> uh, that will be a 51. Yeah, like I said. So, you can't have a crit success, you only get a success. Um, so every time you target, you use an action that deals damage to at least one good creature, like me, you get to take damage. So I'm gonna hurt you whether you want to be or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a fair amount of PT doves. Uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Since that worked, we're actually going to attack you. We'll see how that goes. It's hero point in time, that's a two. <laughs> Uh, 
that's gonna miss. By how much? Too much. Is that a crit? Um, it's gonna be a forty-four. I Forty-four, believe. uh, because Which that she has because of her new nonsense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know what I get to do though. What? I gotta do my follow-up assaults. Do it. I gotta roll better than a. I think I have to get like a fifteen or a sixteen. No, I gotta get a sixteen because she's got the boost. Oh wait, it would have been a forty-four. I forgot about Australia. That's still not enough. Mm, no, it's it okay. is up to forty-five right now. That's a gosh dang twelve. That's not gonna work either. So I'm gonna go back to. At least now, when she damages me, now I can also damage her since I can't seem to hit her. Wait a second! I got advantage on the first one because that was my first attack since Astrea gave me this true strike. Hold on, yes. hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, you do. It was a nine, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, is there anything else for you? For the turn? people at home, that was an 11. I did, um, no, it was like a 12, an 11, a 9, and whatever my hero point was. Oh, and a 2. We started off on a 2. So we did improve. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it'll uh, come to Joanna's turn. Joanna, please do better than me. Okay. It won't take much. <laughs> um, I am going to use my once a day free action to recharge my spell strike um, um, and I technically didn't leave the aura right so I don't need to like re-roll anything uh, you have not left yeah okay so one two uh, I'm gonna move here and now I am adjacent to do me for anything that may be applicable to that so many things are applicable to that. Like, all of my things are applicable to that now. Yay! <laughs> um, okay, and then I think that was, okay, three reaction, one action. Um, and then Joanna is going to cast a ninth level spell of by location. Um, so now there is another Joanna uh, right here. There you go. Cool, cool. Um, and basically, this this is just like a clone copy. They, like, I can't have them attack at the same time, but they can move at the same time um, and attack different targets. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's fun. I don't have enough action stuff. So the first one, I'm just going to attack uh, a dimple, actually with the rapier. Mm-hmm. It's actually a higher two hit. That is a 47. 47 will hit. For uh, 26 damage. Okay. Um, and that is all my actions. All right, uh, we come back to Sigrun. Um, <clears throat> we just gonna do the death, death boom, and swing, mm-hmm. because that is honestly the tried and true for Sigrun. So the otter passes, but we'll take half damage. Uh, and then Sigrun will swing! Uh, and hit. Alright, uh, and it'll take, uh, some damage from that. Uh, Sigrun and Mera are keeping this otter pretty busy. Oh, that'll bring us to Mara's turn. And here comes Mara with the steel chair! I'm gonna attack this. Yeah. Uh, so this thing has got me, but I'm gonna do mm-hmm. another uh, key strike for your blows, because that did actually work well the last time. Mm-hmm. I also, oh wait, I also forgot I have a plus one from either that or Astrea, so I'm gonna remember that this time. Mm-hmm, As a threat. Do I have another hero point? Hold on, I have to do a whole bunch of things. Okay, let me just 
roll some attacks really quickly for you, my wonderful friend. Let's roll my first attack. For the uwu, you die a thousand deaths. Uwu uses a hero point. <laughs> I don't know why I keep for my first attack against this thing. I always roll a fucking three. Like, it's consistent. You know? And, like, I think it'll hit. But it's also sad to get a three. <laughs> you know? Like, it is. All it is of the sad. three. Without fail, first attack, always a three. And I'm just like, okay, shut the fuck up, dice. Okay, that's not a three. <laughs> that's a lot better. That is a... 48? 48 will hit. Will it crit? Yes, it will. Thank you. I'm gonna roll the second attack, too. Thank you. Oh my god, that might actually crit as well. Hold on, let me do math. Uh, that is a... 46. 46 will also hit, and I'll pull you two crit cards. <laughs> this otter's just dead, actually, huh? Hold Destroy. on. Destroy. Uh, so the first card is Broken Nose. We'll take bleed damage. Uh... Oh, the snoot! So that's 122 damage without the key strike damage. So let me take out a fuck ton of d12s. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna use a dice roller because I don't want to roll 12 d6s. That's fair. I am so lazy. And that is an extra 44 points of necrotic damage. Okay. So that is a total of 166 damage, question mark? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how you take the otter out. I'm so yeah. fucking of this stupid fucking otter! Uh, okay, out of character question, are we going to kill this otter? Because I know we're killing the gods, but like this otter is just a little guy. Is this thing like evil? It's it's not a, just a little guy. <laughs> it's just a little creature. Um, it's also like I believe that is the animal companion for mm -hmm. Dimple too. So like, it is. I think we'd have to, or else this otter would John Wick us. <laughs> he really would. <laughs> I'm going to like look at this otter, say I'm sorry, even though I can't understand me. I'm gonna punch it in the nose. And <laughs> Rod, no, Lish, no, don't fucking apologize. This otter was being treated better than her own blood child. Yeah. Well, I gotta apologize for killing it. You know, skill issue or no. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably see it later anyways, which is gonna be making it a bit awkward if I don't apologize, so it's like, whatever. Can you imagine this giant otter comes to terrorize us on our way to the underworld? That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But but it's a yeah. ghost this time. And then, of, and then a bunch of those, like, spectral, cool, orangey flowers just grow over its face and it collapses. I'm like, oh! Okay. I give a straight a thumbs up! <laughs> that was one action. Yep. Uh, That's amazing. Oh. I'm gonna use my second action to run over here. Where? Uh, Being in on front the map. Okay, being on the map so I can move you out of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... I think Dimple's pretty efficiently trapped right now, and I have taken a couple hits, so I'm not sure if I want to take more hits from her at this exact second. So, uh, hold We on. do have... <clears throat> in theory, we do have the Shadow Ward that could come at your mom um, if it yeah. were to break out of its thing, so there is that to think about. Mm -hmm. Do I have anything cool I can do for a third action, then? Uh, can I slap a stray and cast Guidance, question mark? Why would you want to slap me? I'm so cute. I will gently- <laughs> I will gently pat your shoulder and cast Guidance. And I'm just gonna say, I'm just sitting next to you, here you go. <laughs> just pat you. <laughs> you I look so tired. Taking a breath and that, and I also pat you back. For Thanks. support, though. <laughs> I just get emotional support. <laughs> uh, and I will look at you before my turn ends and just say, I ought to catch my breath real quick. And that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Some days I wish you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> then kill me yourself, pussy. I will. Mm -hmm. I can end the bloodline. <laughs> that's right. It's your turn. 
Oh no! I um, use my first <laughs> First action to move implosion onto marrow. Good, yeah, now right make your save. Um, <laughs> can you fucking imagine? Um, okay. Do do I do automatically do the save? Oh, not do the save. Do the the sustaining. I will move implosion onto dimple. Um, so I would need a fortitude save. And um, that is a fifty-one. That's a crit. I'm assuming you would not feel a thing. She just kind of shrugs it off. Yeah. She she burps and it's like that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't I can't fault that you know. She she had her tums. Exactly. Um. Okay. That's free. My lingering calm still goes on. Bada bada ba. Um. Let me see. What can I do? Hmm. You're, so so it's like confirmed Dimple is just really good at all the saves, right? Yeah, she's pretty good at all the saves. Fuck. I sucked ass. Um that's fine. Things happen, they happen. I will then Is this a save? I have a lot of saves. Um, now that I realize my, most of my spells were really ready and prepared, not gonna lie, mm-hmm. to beat the ever-living shit out of, <laughs> out of Dewan, not Dimple. Um, the Do- Dewan won't stand a chance, <laughs> but like, <laughs> Dimple apparently could, could easily beat all of my stuff. <clears throat> Except, nope, that's also fucking sick. <gasps> wait, 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 I have the other spell though, I have the other spell. Um... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I am going to have Rosalite actually um, do some things. She will, um, in a line, uh, she's going to use uh, her dragon breath. However, now that we're gods, um, Rosalite is like super powered up. So she gets, uh, as because as, we're also level 17, she gets all of her Eidolon um, evolutions, essentially. Like her her abilities to do so. Mm, so that means yeah. she also has Worm's Breath. Worm's Breath is a free action. If she's about to use her breath weapon, like if her next action is the breath we- weapon, the number of damage dice and the area that she can reach uh, are doubled. So we're gonna reach this war regardless. Um, uh, and um, uh, I need the war to make a reflex um, saving throw. Thirty. Wow! Uh, I I think that's just a regular fail, thankfully. Like, thankfully for it, I mean, not... It is just barely a, um, a, a, a save, a regular save, because our, 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 um, our DC is 39. Um, however, this work's gonna take, like, 18 D6 damage, so, uh, magical penetration. Um, let me just roll the dice. I have to pull out a different dice roller and just spam it for a second, because that's a lot of d6s. That is a lot of d6s. I mean, the child is mighty, you know? <clears throat> that will be 72 points of magical- 73 points of magical piercing damage, um, as- as Rosalite essentially machine guns, um, pink <laughs> crystals. Um, at at the warg. She's terrifying, like her mother. Both her mothers, actually. And, um, then for, um, assurance, she's gonna- I'm gonna let her do the last, um, action that we got mm-hmm. to move in front of Tamsin, just in case. The- <laughs> Sorry, that, that envelops Tamsin, my bad. Tamsin gets hugged. <laughs> um, Tamsin gets hugged and like, and like, and like cuddled like a doll because Rosaline is large. But yeah, yeah. just in front of Tamsin for um, protection sake. And I'm gonna really quickly roll Breath Weapon again to recharge it or see how long it takes. 
Um, that's not bad. Two rounds. Yeah. And that'll bring us to Groon's turn. Yep, yep. Uh, important question for Joanna. Your uh, yes. doppelganger, mm -hmm. can it take damage? Yes, we share health. Uh, that is unfortunate. No worries, though. Yeah, I mean, area of effects, if we're both in it, it says I only take the damage one. So. Um, so what Groon is going to do... Groon is going to... Actually, we'll start with the attack spell. So first action, we're going to shoot a produce flame, because I still have several turns of one action produce flames. Uh, does a 46 hit didn't pull? Yes. Just barely, yeah. Uh, also, did you want to stand up? Um... No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I probably should, uh, but I did not think about it. So I'll just do this from the floor. Okay. Um, and does get the extra nine uh, mm -hmm. from the flaming fusillade. Okay. Um, bonus damage. All right. And just sit in here. I am going to attempt to hopefully help out Astrea. We'll see if we can lower some of those saves. Um, as I cast eighth level, there we go. Boil blood. Uh, Astrea suffers PTSD. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> on Dinpole. Um, so that's a DC 39 fortitude save. Uh, that is a 52. Yeah, I was worried you would say that. Worth a try, though. All right. And I'm just going to sit there literally looking like an idiot. Mm -hmm. So just like, so you know, for uh, any saves versus magic, she gets like a plus four for any saves versus magic. Because of two hey. different things she has. Uh, and with her combined, she rolls with a plus 41 for fortitude. Wow. Um, are those two things status bonuses? Uh, one bonus? is an item bonus and one is a status bonus. Okay, sorry. I have spell penetration, so that does not apply. An item, you say? An item on her person that could potentially be grabbed? Cool. That, but that is good to know that it won't. Uh, not currently, because she is transformed. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah. <laughs> it just gets slurped into her flesh, like, ha 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 ha! Or rather, for me, it lowers the bonus by one. So cool. that's not that is... actually super helpful, but... But, I mean, that's good to know. <laughs> you never know, by one. <laughs> <laughs> that one can really make a difference. Uh, and the Death Warg. And yeah, the Death Warg will definitely... Uh, is going to pounce at Rosalite, who just machine-gunned it with... Uh, Crystals. <laughs> no, leave my baby alone. The baby is strong. It's the 34 is. hit. Does what? A 34 hit? Nope. <laughs> right. And then we'll try one more time with a claw attack. 36. Nope. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, Rosalite's AC right now should be 38. She just takes it like a jab and just stares, like it, it, it like blinks off of her crystal hide. Oh my god. I know what Rosalite looks right now. What? Like the crystal ponies from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, like season two? Or is it three? I think it's three. I think it's season, three. Season I think two. It's, Season two is introduced, like you intro they introduced the, the, the Crystal Kingdom, mm. but we had like all of um, Cadenza to deal with. Mm. But that well, was the best opening, though. <laughs> yeah, well, but the, this is definitely going to bring us to uh, Tamsin. How is the Death Warg looking? That's uh, probably on the side of bloodied. 
Um, okay. Because I'm curious, I would like to formally spend an action to see, well, to examine Dimple. Okay. Uh, that is a god lore? Yes. 42? Oh, yeah, uh, what would you like to know? I mean, I know all her saves are good, but which is the worst? <laughs> uh, funny enough, it is reflex. By that's one. funny. Oh, that's oh, funny. Hilarious. That's actually very funny. Oh, that's good for me. Uh, with a, uh, a plus 33. Jesus Christ, okay. Will is a plus 34, and Fortitude is a plus 37. I'm beginning to believe that uh, the only reason why Doan is like the last of the gods is because he probably <laughs> has layer bonuses because he's literally a plane away. Unless Doan is gonna show up with like plus fucking forties, um, <laughs> like <laughs> to to everything, um, then that could be entirely wrong. But I'm just, I'm just what? picturing Michelle Yeoh. Not gonna lie, she's just chilling there. What um, what level is? is Dimple, technically. 20. 20. Doan's 21. <laughs> Just for us to know in the future. My guy has layer bonuses. I will go ahead and attempt to banish the um, boy again, the death work. So this, is the, this is the one that did critically succeed. Can... I... It, so, oh, resist being banished into your stunned one. It doesn't say anything about not being able to try it again. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't. I'm looking at the spell right now. Yeah. So, A will save, please. Oh. Uh, that is a 34. That fails. He poops away. Oh, uh, yeah. that is my turn. Mm-hmm. What? Right, and, uh, <laughs> that'll bring, it goes away. It's gone now. Um, that'll bring us back to Dimple. Not gonna lie, it's probably thankful that it's gone because Rosalie was about to fuck him up. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Dimmy, so you just make yourself such a big target, though. Since we're back at the top of the round, round four. <laughs> What? There's two of Joanna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally have not inflicted any damage on her in any way. I have just Why simply been woman... swinging at her and missing. Why is this woman so hell bent on hurting her family? Uh, I, think, I have I been think glaring in her why. direction and that's it. I'd say she has other family, but I would like her to not remember that part right now. So, yeah. Hit me, I'm gonna hit you back, but not necessarily physically. I, uh... Yeah, uh, so... Dimple is gonna start off with a faint. Hey, my mom did that. Mm-hmm. Dimple, I know. <laughs> we were kind of friends for a while. <laughs> I'm the one that taught that bitch that. Oh yeah, it was cool. I mean, apart from the fact that we killed her. Uh, so does a 48 pass your perception DC, your perception plus 10? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it a critical a success? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it would not be a critical because that would it, it would have to be a 49 to be critical. Oh, good to know. 39 would be my perception DC. Uh-huh. So you're just flat-footed for the just this turn. Jeepers. Um, um, hang on. Okay. Okay. Just double checking a really ancient ability. So flat footed. Uh, because I think deny advantage is just like being flat footed by, um, like being flanked. Yeah, there were a couple, like, other side things in there that I had to double-check, because I never look at that sucker. 
Because I'm like, I know it's not just people flanking me. It is also other things, but it's just like surprise attacks and hidden undetected. But I don't think a feint would apply. Yeah. Uh, so, you rolled a 20, a nat oh. 20, for a 58. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Hey, never mind. Carry on. So, uh, the card is called the Deep Hurting. Uh, you become fatigued. Sure, why not? Yeah. Should I take it as, like, a sign that the only things that have done any good here have been my champion things? Um, I would like to shield block for Demisa to reduce damage, please. <laughs> It's fine. I'm, I, um, between Groon and some other things, I was at full health not too long ago, so I'm literally sitting on I'm so, so blocking you. If she manages to deal 233 HP, I will gladly die. Except the shield block. <laughs> I mean, that is 135. That's yeah, not <laughs> nothing. And she still has uh, an action left that she's going to use to attempt to tear your fate again. Um, so Wait. you take 15 off of that, Demisa. On top of the 15 I get from uh, Tamsin? I believe so, because I'm that's what shield blocking does, so it's hitting the shield, and then you get your resistance. So that would be 105. That's what I take total. Mm. Oh, wait, that's what I take total. That's not what my health is. Hold on. <laughs> I think my shield's broke. <laughs> I overwrote what I had. What did I say? 233? Yes. Thank me for saying it out loud two seconds ago. Because mm-hmm. otherwise I would have been like, well, it's just 105 now. <laughs> okay, we're good. Carry on. Oh, um, actually, wait. Don't carry on. First, you get to take damage. Because guess what? I'm a good creature. Mm-hmm. So hold on. I need the dice roller to do this for me. 30! Cool. Please take 30. Good mm-hmm. damage. I hope you feel bad. Respectfully. Uh, and... Okay, I it. okay uh, give me a basic will save. Is it a fear effect? Nope, it's tear fate again. Ah, cool. Um... Did we... We just got our second hero point or a third hero point at 10? Third. 10 was our third? Sweet. That means I have one. I think. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Didn't matter. Did you critically fail? I would imagine so. Let's see here. Um, let me know if you do. 29. 29 will be a critical fail. Yeah. No, it's not. I use my reaction for word re- of revision. Yeah. Um, you do it again. <clears throat> oh, right. Astraea, Astraea's, like, paying attention. She sees you're about to, to, to fail. Um, and she just she just points at you and goes, nope. And um, and you do it again. So what's that roll? 34? 34 is a failure. I went from rolling a two to rolling a seven. One second, one second. I'm just, I need to reread, I need to read the whole fucking thing because this was actually a bigger block of text. I, no, I went no, to you're good. check. Um, this is just not Demisa's fight, I guess. Okay, no, you're you're fine. You can roll it. You you just re-roll it, and um, if you re- if you rolled another critical fail, it would have been bumped up to just a fail. So you rolled a fail. Yes. That's fine. It stays like that. Um, but you are um, immune to further words of revision for twenty four hours. Um, that's fine. Yeah. So you're going to take forty eight mental damage as she rips away part of your fate. 
Um, what does that mean? You are now doomed one. <gasps> oh, oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Um, where is doomed? On the... I just dropped it on your sheet. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, cool. It essentially is means you die at one dying level sooner. Does my toughness do anything against that? It will cancel out Doomed 1, so you will still go at the at Dying 4. Okay, I've got like so many things against death here, so Ooh. I'm not super yeah. worried right now, frankly. But if it, if, if it fills up and you become Doomed 4, if you go down, you're dead. Mm -hmm. No rolling. Famous last words, Ferris. Qu question. Because mm -hmm. I have like, I have things. I have things that happen if I hit zero. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's only if you go down and go if to zero hit points exactly. Mm -hmm. If right. that stuff kicks in, mm -hmm. like like in a TCG yeah. chain of reaction. Hey, listen. You know what I've been asking for for like two seasons now. Absolutely I'm not. I'm trying. <laughs> Who are uh, you? I really am. I have been. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to kill Dumisa, man. It's hard I, I to will, kill. It is legitimately very difficult to kill. That, like, that that attack straight up just broke my shield. Yeah. Like, oh my god, we I'm see your shield, your shield well. I have a spare if you need it. You want my mom's shield? <laughs> uh, but my... Speaking of things, Jumisa, it's your turn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, hold on. I wrote down what I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure it's like attack, attack. Oh, protect ally, rallying cry, attack. That's what we're doing today. All right, so we are, you are adjacent to me, correct? Yes, you are. In many ways, more ways than one, but I could only help the real you. Um, so. Um, no, 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 both are real. Like they are both real copies of Joanna. And yeah, when one me. is affected, they're both affected. Well, yeah. so I can only matter. pick one of you. So I guess it doesn't matter who. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't okay. matter. It will apply. Jo one Joanna can be like like 60 feet away. It'll apply to both. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Well, okay. Congratulations, you got two mobs. Nice. You specifically like the one that's furthest away from you. There's your bias. This is great. I didn't say who, I said the real one, which turns out it is both of them, so. Actually, in theory, if you were to use your, like, champion's reaction thing to, like, save a, a Joanna that's to. closer, you'd just save the farther one, too. Nice, that's awesome. Um, actually, well, we won't get into that, but yeah, I yeah. have cool stuff that happens on my champion's reaction. One day. Not today, though. Mm -hmm. Today I'm gonna die, maybe. So, okay, so anyway, protect ally. Joanna came in with a shield, helped out with that nicely, shattered her shield, um, and Demisa is just gonna... It says you place your body between your friends and your enemies. <laughs> so she's gonna not literally move, but that's what's happening here. You get a plus one circumstance bonus to AC. Thanks. I, I lost my plus three from the shield, so... So there you go. Um, until, let's see, the start of my next turn or until you are no longer adjacent, whichever is first. Um, so that's done. So the next thing I'm going to do is something my real dad taught me <laughs> in the bakery shop one day. I only say that because it's a hobgoblin feed. <laughs> it was a... a Wait, 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 no, this is this is cute, this is cute. Um, it's called Rallying Cry, and Demisa is gonna start singing like a cute little, like a kitty little bakery song, like the, do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> you shark Just you. singing it out, like, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Um, so all my allies within 30 feet, which is gonna be Joanna, Joanna, and Groon, um, get to have temporary hit points equal to my level, which is 17. So you get 17 temp HP and you are all quickened for one minute, but you can only use it to step, stride, or strike. So enjoy that. Oh, I have five actions. You're welcome, Joanna. <laughs> um, so that's cool. Um, so that happened because I know the Muffin Man. And I'm going. Joanna's. I do know the muffin man. The muffin man. The muffin man. The muffin man. 
Well, is that Trevor related? She's well, married. She's married to the, the muffin, muffin man. man. The muffin man. man. It's okay. Okay. She's married I'm to the muffin man. Okay, okay, okay. Let's. Uh, you, you, you're going um, to attack, so it's right? It's gonna be. Um, I actually rolled something above a twelve. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is great news for me. However, I am many other things. So let's see. Let's see what these all do. So that is AC and saving throws. That is AC. Sorry, AC. And doomed is just if I die, so that's whatever. So cool, that's gonna be a 48 to hit you. 48 will hit. Yeah. AC is back down to 44 Ooh. because of, she's no longer taking the defensive action. This is so nice. This is nice. I'm gonna savor this, but like later. Um, okay, let me do math. Yeah, let me roll dice and then do math. Good gravy. Okay, hold on. It's gonna be like two seconds here. Longer than two. I didn't actually have any of my damage dice out. Because I haven't needed them. Old for math. The new shirt from Goblets and Gaze. Honestly, we should. Um, okay, cool. I love... I love Tamisa. I do. Um, so that's gonna be 68. 68? Okay. Yeah, I rolled really good on my damage. I almost maxed out my damage, actually. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I'm like, can I smite? I cannot smite. You Did you add the plus one from me? I did, thank you. Yee. Um, let me check the wording real fast. Hey, how many times did you attack me, Aubrey? Did... How many actions did you do damage? There was one, one actual attack, but it does, uh, does tear fate because it does damage, but it doesn't count as an attack. It counts does as it like- Does it count a... as an action? It does. Then one minute, I do have to damage you again. Okay. Because it specifically says an action that deals damage. Cool. So that's another 38 to Dimple. This yeah. makes me feel better. This is nice. Jesus. It's nice to hit things. That's just, that's just, I hope you feel, I hope you're not feeling the feel good. No, wait, the Muffin Man song is making her feel the warm and fuzzies, but it does damage to her. <laughs> you do is know there, the Muffin Man. Is there anything else that you want to do on your turn? I think I've done it all. Okay. Joanna. One second. I'm just going to say, um, Ferris, some would mm -hmm. say that she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? <laughs> the Muffin Man. Um, okay. I'm going for big swings this turn. Okay. Uh, first one, the Joanna that's behind her is going to uh, attempt to grapple. Okay. Um, I realize that's against the Fortitude DC and not the Reflex DC that I thought. But I'm going for it anyways, because I have a plus 30. The DC is 47. Yeah. All right, this fell dice, let's go. <laughs> That's 18 on the dice. You are, she is now grappled. Nice. Excellent. Nice. Um, and then other Joanna um, is going to, because I'm hasted, use Overwhelming Blow, which is three actions. And if I hit, it's an auto crit. Uh, and it has a deadly D12 trait. Okay. Ooh, that's another 18 on the dice. Um, and this is with the Rising Tide, so that is going to be uh, 50. 50 will hit. Excellent. So, Better. crit. Uh, let's see, D12. Oh. Are we doing doubling or or roll the damage die twice? I forget. Uh, we usually just roll it and double, but also it is a critical hit. I will pull your card for you. Uh, slashing. Uh, this is indeed, uh, sorry, there's so many traits on this. Yes, slashing. It is rolled two things that don't, because she doesn't have any weapons out right now. Her weapons are considered natural. 
Uh. Well, uh, it'll just be double damage because the other one I picked up was uh, swing through, which just allows you to attack an adjacent foe. Ah. Yeah. No. Well, um, that's still going to be. 70 damage, and let me see what the critical specialization is. Um, target is made off balance by your attack to become flat footed until the start of your next turn. I think they were already flat footed because of. Yeah. Sorry, I did the math wrong. 76 damage, so. Because I, I got 38 total. But yeah, so. Uh, that is Joanna's whole turn. All right. Uh. It is now Sigrun's turn. What would you like Sigrun to do? Um, <clears throat> this is this is a Tansen question. Tansen, are you are you were you injured at all? Nah, right? Nah, I haven't been touched. Yeah, okay. Then um, Sigrun will move forward to uh, join the fray if she can. I don't know if she could fit on the bridge. I don't think she could fit on the bridge. Yeah, especially with all the people that are on it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I guess what will happen is I'll just have Sigrun um, uh, guard the squishies. So I will have her move her, move her closer to, to Tamsin as well. Okay. Just because it's better for Sigrun to guard Tamsin um, mm -hmm. than, <laughs> than Rosalite for very obvious reasons. Obvious. Alright, uh, and that'll bring us to Marrow. Yes. Will. Hey, you're fine. <laughs> uh, 35 is just going to be a miss. Because she is grappled right now, it does not count, it is not a critical fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna hit. Damn. When we needed you to hit women the most. Alright, uh, Australia, it's your turn. Alright, it is my turn. Um, things are happening, blah, 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 blah. Um, <clears throat> let me, let me just see what, what else I can do real quick. That is that specifically that isn't a saving throw because I think all unfortunately almost all of my spells are saving throws. Um for now at least. Uh I'm sorry, which spell you were you getting her with? I, I said <clears throat> I said I had to see which spell I could oh. use because all I think all of my almost all of my spells are saving throws right now, the ones that deal damage. Um but that's okay. I have a whole other set of spells that I can use. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. I, I I thought you said the spell, and my brain was like, I didn't catch what the spell was. No, 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 no. You're okay. So I am going to, um, two action polar ray as well, um, uh, at eighth level, and that is a spell attack. Thankfully, so one second. How does nat 20 sound for you? Sounds oh, pretty oh, good. Shit. Oh, I, I, shit. I, I'm letting you know I'm using a hero point uh, as well on that one. It's, it's my first hero point, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just, so that way mm -hmm. I rolled, I think I would have still hit her maybe, like I think I was going to reach the cusp, but I actually forgot what what the AC is right now and I just, mm -hmm. I didn't want to risk it. Um, That's okay, so on a critical success, um, I get to double the damage. You're um, actually going to triple the damage. I'm... <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, shit. A polar ray. God damn. You know that bitch is taking 30 d8? <laughs> well, you'll roll the normal amount well, and then... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, I know that, but just, like, think about it that way. Mm -hmm. It's fucking insane. Um, but not the drain value, so she will, mm -hmm. um, she'll be drained to, um... Let me roll the damage before I say what any of this looks like. Is it still 10 d8? 
I think, yeah, it's still 10d8, but then we double it or triple it. Hold for math. Mm hmm. Um. <clears throat> Um, oh shit, what type of damage is this again? It's cold, right? Uh-huh. Um, so how does 172 points of cold damage sound to you? I don't, I don't increase my, 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 um, circum no, circ my status bonus at all, right? Like, I don't, right? That's just a one. That's just a one. That's just a one. Okay, good. Yeah, 72 points of cold damage. Okay. Um. Tell me oh how you yes. take her out. Um. Oh shit! Can I kill my grandma? One second. Mechanically, Maybe. yes. Mechanically, yes, but narratively, <laughs> I don't know. So let me. I'm gonna make my own will save here. Just remember what she's done to your mother. What she's done yeah. to your grandfather. How buff that otter was. Exactly. <laughs> how terrifying that other otter was. Um Okay, yeah, I can do it. Um I, I just put it up against my DC, that's all. Mm -hmm. Like to see like if I could uh like if I could roll a will slave to beat mm -hmm. my own DC, um, yeah. then I'll do it. If not, then I won't do it. That's how that's how my head is at. I can do it, y'all. Um Okay. So I think, um, um, I think Astrea is like watching the struggle here and, um, she's just kind of like, she's contemplating with herself mid battle, which is a bad idea, but not really, um, to see if she can muster the, the, the courage that, that she'll need for this next bit, um, because it, it feels wrong, um, and it does leave, like, a bad taste in her mouth. Um, also, the potent fact that she has, uh, she has technically worshipped this woman her entire life. Uh, she was an avid dimple worshipper, haha. <laughs> so... She takes a really deep breath. And, um, as she does, like, all of the stars on her skin and her hair, and even the, the henna tattoos, they all just start, like, glowing, like she's, uh, taking the world's deepest, deepest breath. And, um, the, how am I gonna describe this? She just... I'm making a motion with my hand and I'm realizing you can't see it, but she just pushes that energy out of her and it bounce it not bounces. It, it hits like dimple uh, directly. And um if if I if I may, uh we see dimple kind of just like it, it hits very like like it's a small beam. So it hits like as if it were a snipe shot. Um, and as she slowly falls down, every, like, every part of her body starts locking up and freezing over. But instead of freezing like ice, it turns to, like, crystals. And uh, inside sort of looks a bit like a galaxy. And then she'll just poof. She'll just, like, poof into nothing. Exactly. does it goes away leaving just that power behind as you do that and for a moment you think she looks over at you and maybe looks proud maybe it's hard to tell but before you know the Ice and crystals have been blown away by the wind, melted by the rain all around you, leaving nothing but the power. I guess it's 
Whose turn is it? We'll say another valid choice is letting it go off and finding, like, finding somebody it deems like worthy, you know, rather than presenting yourself. If Jamson doesn't want to ascend, totally fair. Has Astrea told us, I was out this episode, has Astrea told us about splitting the power between the siblings, or do we know that that happened? No. Um, <clears throat> the only one she, who does is Rin, isn't it? Yeah, the only one who figured it out is Rin. No, I don't even think, I don't think the other gods know at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, the siblings have a feeling that Estrella did something, and it's simply because she just went, I did something, and then just never told them. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, they've been asking, they're like, what did you do? And, and Estrella was like, wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Like, <laughs> literally, that was it. Um, <clears throat> uh, but like, you could fucking ask. <laughs> I think that Tamsin will accept the power now and ask, talk, make a mental note to talk to Estrella about it later. Yeah, so you will, and yeah, it is, it is easy. You just hold oh your hand. God, Nick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got I back from pacing. What happened? I um, assumed how, the silence oh. meant you didn't want this one. <laughs> um, what? I, 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 yeah, killed, I, I killed Dimple. Yeah. Oh shit, okay. No, you can <laughs> have it. I'm taking the wand. <laughs> like, yeah. I just got back from pissing. It was just I, so I, silent and dramatic. I'm like, did, did like, random time? <laughs> <laughs> you better leave this in. This is not blooper wheel. This is this this is this is Meryl Queen King. I stopped pissing in the river. <laughs> Turns around, old oh, Gmon's gone. Oh shit, Jesus yeah. Christ, my bad. Yeah. Tanson, you reach out and feel the power come to you. Uh and yeah, figure out uh how that affects you and what that means for Tamson next time, I guess. Yay, I'm the only normie in the group now. <laughs> uh, how does that make out, you feel? Uh, how oh many want to dual class? Lich God, Lich God, Lich God. Lich God. Lich God. This, this is so cool. cool. This is so fucking cool. I, Lich God. <laughs> Sorry, we were talking over you. <laughs> no, you're good. It was just like, huh? Yeah, it was like, yeah, it would be that. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, take us out. All right, everyone, thank you for listening to the wonderful episode of Goblins and Gays. I'm kind of <laughs> sad I missed the god kill. I was literally just, I was like, I got back and everyone was like, oh, and you hear, feel the power. And I'm like, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, congrats, Estrella, for killing your grandma. I'm so proud of you. Uh, remember to support us on our various streaming services. Give us some good ratings. Patreon is a great way to financially support us so we can uh, pay for things that we need to pay for. Um, and also, you get to see all sorts of fun exclusive content, like me talking about really cursed shit. Uh, that Aubrey just adds the bot in as I'm talking, and I kind of just have to live with that. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Blue Sky, and all of our other stuff. I think it's some big ones, though. And uh, stay safe, eat your vegetables, and one remains. Hey everybody, Aubrey here with a fun little announcement. Uh, Goblets and Gaze is now an affiliate over at Adventure Dice, and we know how much we all love those math rocks. So if you need some new math rocks in your life, go over to adventuredice.ca and in the checkout code, enter our promo code Goblets for 10% off. But also, they have dice. They have other TTRPG accessories and tabletop goodies, dice trays, uh, condition rings, and things like that, little spell casting stuff. Great stuff there. Go check them out uh, and support our show. Thank you. Be gay. Roll dice. An LGBTQIA actual play podcast network.